What's up, YouTube? It's Rachel, Beauty, Body, Spirit, and um, today I'm doing a makeup tutorial for you guys. It's going to be my dirty blue jean look. I posted some pictures of it on Facebook, and I've been promising it, and I finally got the time, so here we go. First thing we're going to do is get our hair out of our face. I like to use a hairnet, but you can use whatever you want. Hair scrunchie, clips. I just find this is way easier because <laughs> that was funny. Uh, <laughs> I just find it way easier because it really keeps the hair way out of my face. And I like to get a full coverage of foundation. Sorry for the camera quality also. I plan on getting a new camera very soon. First thing you want to do is start with your eyes and then we'll do the foundation because it is a smoky eye look. You're going to have a lot of fallout down underneath your eyes. So I'm starting off with just a black eyeliner pencil. I got this from Walmart. It's double ended. It's got brown. And we're just going to smudge. Smudge some of that on top of our eyes. And it really does not have to be even at all. We just want a good thick line. Because we're going to be blending this. Next, I'm taking a blue eyeshadow pencil from Walmart. And this is by LA Colors. It's a gorgeous blue. It's called Pool Party. And it's got sparkles in it. I'm just smudging that on top of that black line. And like I said, it does not have to be even because we are going to blend. Blending is our, like, best friend. Okay? So, now we're going to take just one of these eyeshadow thingies. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> Little eyeshadow brushes. And my Amori palette. It's like pearl eyeshadows. And if you like my nails, subscribe and like and leave a comment and I will do a tutorial. I do my own acrylics because nail salons are just so damn expensive. Anyway, we're taking this blue color right here. I even matched my eyeshadow pod to it apparently. And we're going to pat that on top of our cream eyeshadow to seal it. And this is where you're going to start doing some blending. Blending it to the outer corner of your eye. Right now, we're going to take a fluffy brush. This is like a blending brush. I just buy my brushes in the art section in big packs because they are cheaper. And I don't really like to clean my brushes because I feel like after they're clean, they just, they don't work as well. So I really recycle my brushes and I just... I'd rather have a cheaper brush that I can throw away and get a new one than have an expensive brush that I'm going to wash and not be happy with afterwards. So you're going to take this orange color off of our Mori palette, the same one. We're using palette number one. These palettes come in packs of two. 
I got them on Amazon. And we're going to take, like, this gold color and, like, mix it in with this orange color. And, like, my camera is making it look brown, but this is, like, a copper orange color. So, yeah. Get a substantial amount on your brush because it really helps with blending. See, I've packed a lot on there. So starting at the edge, we're going to blend that color into the blue. It takes a lot of blending, so just be patient, and the more you blend, the more beautiful this look is going to turn out, because you just want the blue to turn into the orange copper color, and it really kind of reminds me of, like, a reverse sunset, so... Just keep on with that blending and packing the powder onto the crease. Now see how that's turning out. You can see still the bright blue left turning into a gray into that copper color. This side needs a little more blending. Now, we're going to take a fluffy brush. This is the Dome Eyeshadow Brush from e.l.f. It was like a dollar at Dollar General. And we're taking that white crystal color right here and loading some of that onto our brush. Blow away the excess. And we're highlighting our brow bone and corners. I really wish I could get some better light in here so you guys could see this because it really looks way better than it is looking on this camera. I do have a flashlight, maybe I can know that makes it worse. Okay. Nope. Okay. Anyway. So. Yeah, next we're going to take an eyeliner brush. See how thin that is? And we're putting it in that black color from our same Amori palette. Gorgeous! Ah! Now, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so goofy. Now we are going to finish blending. Last step, yay! And you're going to pick up this dark blue right here. So pretty.
blend it in with that black. Blend, bitch, blend. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. See that? See how that turns out? All smoky and gorgeous. The other side looks like this, but I have shadows going on for both sides, and my light's up here, so I am so sorry for the shadows. That's what it ends up looking like. So if you just followed those steps, even though my camera is not showing, it's making my hair look really yellow. It's not yellow at all. It's white. So you can tell this light's just doing crazy things to these colors. And I am so sorry. I will probably redo this video whenever I get a good camera. But for now, this is the way it is. So, lashes. I'm using my Great Lash Maybelline. It's pretty much my favorite. Right now. It's my favorite, but Okay. And I just need to fix this over here, blend this out, please. I'm not very happy with the way this came out. Now, moving on to our beautiful face. I'm starting with Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. I really like this primer. It only takes a little bit, and it is so dang silky smooth. Like, I've spent a lot of money on primers, and I just, I've never found one that I love as much as this. And then rub it into your fingers and then rub it into your skin. I like using my fingertips for foundation. It's just better. I have like multiple foundation brushes, but. And really make sure you get that primer under your eyes. It's like the most important part because the skin under your eyes is so thin and gentle and you just want to like create a good barrier for that foundation. Sorry for all my weird faces. <laughs> and I do usually do my eyebrows but today I'm not really getting on. I'm probably just going to brush them 
because I just bleached my hair the other day and they look like really dark with the light hair. So I really don't want to make them look any darker than they are. But let's just brush them out. Get them in a good shape. Might put some wax on them. Just if you have any spray hairs, I'm not going to, but, you know, I just, I like to keep my eyebrows really groomed, so I don't really feel like I need to do my eyebrows, you know. Anyway, um, yeah, then we're going to take our Glamouflage Heavy Duty Concealer. Like, you just need the tiniest little bit, like, really. This stuff goes a long way. It's full coverage. You could hide a tattoo if you wanted to with it. I mean, and I dot it on all my problem areas, which is like under my eyes because I have bags and dark circles. In my labial, or not labial, <laughs> uh, that's dirty. <laughs> In my nasolobial creases. And a little bit on my forehead, just in my T-zone. I mean, and see, it hides even like. I have a few beauty marks, and it completely almost hides them, so you can see how it would do on a tattoo. And I just love this stuff because it is very thick coverage, you don't need a lot of it. This one tube was about $10, $11, and I got it off of Amazon because they don't sell it in the drugstores where I'm at, even though it is a drugstore product. I like to kind of go over the outside of my lips, too, because I like lip liner, and I feel like I get a more precise line whenever I do that. So just really blend that concealer in now to your skin. Like, you don't want any harsh lines where you see, oh, she concealed there. You want it to look even. We're basically making a base on top of a base for our foundation. Gorgeous. This is a makeup setting spray I made at home. I will make a tutorial also. Leave in the comments below if you would like to see that. And the last step. I'm taking my Dream Nude Airbrush Foundation in number 240 Natural Beige. It's a little darker than my natural. You need about like an egg shape. Get a little bit on your fingertips. Blend it in. And it's just going to add like my color. We're not going to go all the way up under our eyes. We're kind of contouring, but we're just trying to mix these colors. Make it look as natural as possible. Pat, like, the residue under my eyes. See how that's adding warmth to that bright color? And this is a bit of a shiny. And then just blend like into into your neck because I do self tan and this is you can kinda do that and you can tell you get the same color because my skin on my face is a little bit lighter.
so the last thing will be powder. I'm using number one in CoverGirl loose powder. It's light. It's the lightest that they had. And using your kabuki brush, just blend in alternate motions. That's going to give you a really smooth finish. I always do foundation last when I do a smoky eye. It just works better. Add your favorite lip color and you're ready to go, girl. Here I'm using like an LA Colors, or no, this is NYC. It's like a lip butter stick. It was super cheap. Ah. It was super cheap. A couple bucks at Walmart. And sometimes I like add a little bit and rub it in. Just because I like my blush to match my lip color a bit. Ta da! That is the full look. Dirty Blue Jeans. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel, and I promise that there will be a higher quality video camera for all of you beautiful ladies and men who would like to learn makeup. So <laughs> have a great day and thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below if you like, hate, love, whatever. I am here for you guys. Peace.